The objective is to use exponents to name place value units and explain patterns in the placement of the decimal point. Okay, let's go ahead and complete these number sentences. 10 times what equals 10? Right, 1. 10 times what equals 100? Right, 10. How many times do we have to multiply 10 together to get 1,000? Three times. So that's 10 to the third power. Where we're multiplying 10 times 10 times 10. 100 is 10 squared. 10 times 10. And in our first instance, we only had 10 to the first power. How many times would we have to multiply 10 together to get to 10,000? Well, 10 times 10 already is 100. If we multiply by another 10, we get to 1,000, as we saw before. So to be able to get to 10,000, we have to multiply 10 together four times. Your task is to write 10 to the 5th power as a product of 10s. Well, let's see. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And that would be a 1 followed by 5 zeros. 2, 3, 4, 5. Placing our comma, we can read that as 100,000. 10 to the 5th power is 100,000. Here are some that have factors other than 10. Could we rewrite this to evaluate this? How do we write 10 squared? We can write 10 squared as being 100, so we'd have 5 times 100, which is equal to 500. Here we have a decimal number times 10 cubed. So that's 3 and 7 tenths times 1,000. We could use our place value chart to help us. Here's our number in our place value chart. Multiplying by a thousand, each of those ones is now worth three thousand. So we have three thousand seven hundred. We have 800 divided by 10 squared. 800 divided by 10 squared is also equal to 800 divided by 100. We know that equals 8. Here's another problem. We have 7 and 1 tenth divided by 10 squared. That's 7.1 divided by 100. How many places would it get shifted? Right, 2. So that's into the hundredths place and into the thousandths place. Here we have 3 and 725 thousandths times 10 to the 4th. 10 to the 4th is equal to 10,000. 
a 1 followed by four zeros. How would that affect us as we try to place our decimal point? Well, we know that three ones times 10,000 would be a 3 in the 10,000's place. So the other digits follow. Do note we have to place a 0 into the 1's place. So that's 3 and 725 thousandths times 10 to the 4th, equaling 37,250. You try 2 and 8 tenths divided by 10 squared. What did you get? Well, that would be 2.8 divided by 100, meaning the 1s would be over into the 100s place, and the 8 is into the 1000s place. Three and twenty-seven thousandths times ten to the third power. Ten to the third power is one thousand. So digits get shifted. That's over into the thousandths place. So we have three thousand twenty-seven as our answer. Here's one more problem where we're dividing 24 and 5 tenths by 10 squared, dividing it by 10 squared, that is also the same as dividing it by 100. Where do those digits shift? They shift two places on over. so that our number is going to be 0 0.245, or 245 thousandths.